here coming to you from Dallas, Texas. Actually, Grapevine, Texas is where NACWI Central is. And please let me know if you can hear me okay. Um, we're just about to dive in with prayer. Today is January 6th, uh, 2015. Uh, this is our monthly free training webinar. It's called the Inspired Business Cafe. Um, I, was, I forgot to look up how many webinars I did last year. I know I did 48. 48 for sure for the NACWI members throughout the entire year. There's 52 weeks in the year. We took a couple weeks off, but we did 48 for official trainings. Um, and I know I did way more other webinars throughout the year, so I'm going to look up later how many webinars I did last year because you know what? Guess what? You get better when you do different things over and over and over. Um, all right, ladies, let me go ahead and pray, and then we're going to dive into introductions and then the training for today about becoming brave, owning your brave, stepping into your brave. And if you need more brave, just give an amen, give a shout out into the chat room. Uh, I'm pretty sure we all need brave. That's why I've created a program called Be Brave Today, uh, because guess what? It's a daily choice. It's not a one-hit wonder. Uh, it, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon. All right, let's pray. Father God, I just thank you so much for this opportunity to do what I do. And Lord, thank you for the gift of these women here. Thank you for all that will watch this video later. Thank you for the power of technology. Thank you for YouTube. Thank you for all the things that we can easily get frustrated with and take for granted. Lord, you know what? Um, I don't want to take anything for granted. I woke up this morning. That's a miracle. I have this great opportunity to serve the world today. That's a miracle. Lord, the sun is shining here in Texas today. Thank you so much. So, Lord, I pray over every woman here that you will give her what she needs today. It's not about me. It's not about uh, what we're going to gain. It's about what we can get and then give. We want to be able to give. We want to receive and then give back. And so, Lord, I pray that as these women are here, they will, they will, they will soak things in and they will take whatever they need and leave the rest. Lord, it's not about fault finding, it's about um, miracle finding today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Woo! All right, so I love these calls. Uh, hi, Paula. Yay! Hi, Jan. Hi, Eileen. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive in and do some introductions um, because we've added more people to the room. Here's my little introduction. I want you, while we're going to start typing it in, who are you? Where are you? What do you do? This is me. Um, I'm, I'm a crazy woman uh, right there, um, a Be Brave Today girl. That's a picture of me, obviously, in the summer. It's a little colder than that here. Um, but tell us who you are, where you are, wh what city are you in, what's the weather like? I know there's snow and, and cold and, and lots of different weather going around, on around the country. Uh, this call is open. We've got women that are in uh, Canada right now. We have some of our members that are in Israel. We have one woman in, in Germany. Uh, that are part of our membership, and and of course this call is open to anybody that's listening. So um, I am a coach. Well, first of all, I'm the president and founder. And for those of you that are new, let me go ahead and give a shout out. Who are the new people here? Who has never been to one of these Inspired Business Cafes? Never met me before. Uh, this is your first time here. If you're new and you've never been to one of these before, we would love to say hello and give a little shout out to you. Um, so let us know. Hi, Karen. There's Marsha. There's Melissa. Um, hello, Deb. Hello, Susan. And uh, if you're new here, go ahead and just tell us that too. So I'm the president and founder of the National Association of Christian Women Entrepreneurs. What is that? Well, it is NACWI. It is a, a place where we, lots of our members are here in the room right now. Welcome, Susan. It's her first time here. Yay! Uh, and I'm not sure, but Ruth might be her, uh, so Ruth's been here once before. Okay, well, um, pardon me, I get distracted because I want to communicate with you guys. Uh, I, I created NACWI, let me just take you back. We're about to hit our five-year birthday. Uh, let me take you back. I started NACWI about this same time. I was gathering my, I was getting the courage, I was doing the research, and I was beginning to realize I wanted to create a place where we could all clump together and find each other. Okay, I had no idea what that would look like. I had no idea how to do that. I, I, but I did what I needed to do. I took the next right step. I, I hired a coach. I went to the trainings. And guess what? We were born on May 11th of 2010. So we are coming up to our five-year birthday. 
uh, and we're having a big conference to celebrate that. So I'll tell you more about that here in a little bit. But I'm a coach, I'm a mentor, author, fun friend. I have my master's degree in counseling, so lots of times I call myself a business therapist. And uh, I'm addicted to coffee. Cheers. Uh, I've let go of a few other addictions uh, that most of you know about. I'm a leader, I'm a woman of God, a risk taker, speaker, teacher, connector and a Be Brave Today girl. So there you have it. Woohoo! Okay, so I think most of you have um, announced yourself. Who are you? We want to know, and I, I think we already did this, but basically I want you to hear that there's women here from all over the place. You know what? We're better together. That's the truth of the matter. You know what? I am totally against, in fact, very, it like rises up my dander. I'm against women being harmful to each other. I'm against women being snarky and mean to each other. Um, I'm against haters. I'm against jealousy and judgment. And I've experienced a lot of that over the last few years and, and actually a lot more over the last year. And I'm going to talk about that. How do you deal with the haters? Has anybody else had some haters in their life or jealous people or people that really just can't handle it when you step out? And um, it, it hurts. It hurts a lot. And um, I actually got hate mail. Recently, I got hate mail that someone sent to my home. Someone sent it to my home, and it was very disturbing, I needless to say. Um, but we're, we're, I'm not going to get stuck on that. you got to move forward. So basically, um, I want you to connect throughout this call today. And we're going to have these free cafe calls the first Tuesday of every month. So mark your calendar for February 3rd at 10 a.m. All right, let me give you a couple announcements and reminders. Uh, these are some of you, some of you are NACWI members. By the end of this call, I hope everybody decides to come and join us at NACWI because guess what? We've got it going on. Um, so the next members only expert is one of our very own, Kathy Alessandra. And I got to be at her event that she just had here in Dallas. She lives in California, but she's teaching us on her Yes I Can movement. The woman has lost, I believe it's 60 pounds. I need to look up the exact number. But she's teaching us on how she did this over the last year by choosing Yes, I Can. And so she's teaching this movement to our members January 20th at 10 a.m. Central. So another great reason for you to join us um, in the next week, basically. Um, and I want to tell you about our Blaze the Trail conference. This is coming up. I mentioned this a few minutes ago, May 14, 15, 16. And guess why? Because our birthday is May 11th, we're having a big birthday party. We're going to play. What I've learned is last year we did our Catch on Fire conference. And if you were at Catch on Fire, go ahead and give a shout out in the room. Catch on Fire, guess what? After you catch on fire, as a leader, as a woman, as an entrepreneur, you are have to, you have to raise up the, the, the blaze. You have to hold the torch. Guess what? It's heavy. It's not easy, sisters, and that's where, as you're holding it, the, you know, the world comes at you. The world comes at you, so we're going to talk about that. We're going to teach on it. We're going we're gonna to bind together because, you know what, uh, we're better together. I'm going to say it over and over and over again. We are better together. Do you agree with me? Um, if you're in the room right now, because we've got 30 of you here, welcome. If you believe, if you wholeheartedly believe and are not willing to let pe let women hurt each other, go ahead and say, yes, we are better together. Yes, we. I am willing to stand tall and support my sisters, not beat them down, not harm them, not gossip about them, um, because you know what? Gossip hurts. Um, hate hurts. And you know what? I believe that if we have a problem with another person, we are called to go to that person. Amen? We are called to go to that person. That's what the Bible tells us to do. Go to that person, talk to them, do not talk about them. So um, if you are in agreement with that, just um, stand tall, raise your hand, blaze the trail, blaze the trail. So uh, just another quick announcement about this. Our, we've got early bird tickets for the conference. If you're an ACWI member, they're 297. That will go up at the end of this month. We've extended the early bird deadline uh, because we, want, we only have room for about uh, 100 in the room and 30 of those tickets are already taken. Or better yet, become a conference sponsor. Am I frozen? Did you get? Am I frozen up, ladies? Can you see me? Hear me? Just want to make sure if I'm not. I hopefully I'm not frozen. I mean, I love that movie. Um, okay, cool. All right, twenty. So that that's a birthday celebration. 
And I also want you to say, um, know that we are in the middle of a NACWI makeover. We're, we're changing the website, we're updating and fixing because you know what, five years in, you gotta, you gotta, you know, we're ready to go to kindergarten, okay? Uh, so just hang tight with that. Um, can you guys all still hear me and see me? It looks like everything's okay. All right. And then 2015, I'll tell you more about this in a little bit, but there's two of you in the room. If you're already in the Be Brave Today experience, um, go ahead and give a shout out. Um, we've got 10 more spots open. This is basically a, a, a big um, investment in you to work with me and your brave sisters for an entire year. It includes private coaching, mastermind groups, weekends at my house, four of them. Uh, and uh, Karen and Marsha are in. Yay, they dove in uh, and they were brave. So hang tight and I'm going to tell you more about that as we go along. All right, let's dive. Who's ready to jump off that little cliff right there and be brave today? I want a yes or an amen in the chat room because I need to know if you're here with me. I need to know that I'm surrounded by women that get it. Guess what? Being an entrepreneur is hard. Hello? Um, it's not for the faint of heart. It is not for wimpy wimps. It is, um, it is not for wishy-washy. It is um, you are going to be rocked to the core, rocked to the core if you step into entrepreneurship. Um, what does your brave 2015 include? Uh, does that? I mean, I'm going to show you some of the. These are just funny pictures of me. Does it include raising your hands high in the air? Does it include uh, speaking in front of crowds? Look at that's me speaking uh, at an event back in September. Does it include what I did this last year? I was scared to death to buy a new vehicle. Scared to death to buy a new vehicle. I had never done it. I had never done it before by myself, I, and uh, I, ch I walked into that. I chose to be brave, and one of you in the room helped me with that. A couple of you in the room helped me with that. You know, the things that scare you, guess what? The things that scare me are different than the things that scare you, okay? You might be scared to death to do a webinar. You know what? And I did, I don't know, 75 of them last year. Um, you might be scared to death like I was to purchase a vehicle. I purchased this home. Scary, scary, scary. Hello. This is me, I train and run marathons. I'm gonna do uh, half marathons and marathons. I did two half marathons this last year. I'm gonna do four this year. I'm committed to doing four. Do I know what those are gonna be yet? No, I sure don't, I know one of them. But what does your brave include? Part of what I want you to work on, this is your homework. A lot of you are not in my coaching programs, but I'm gonna give you homework anyway. It's your little bonus today, coaching. Homework, I want you to create your brave list, your brave list, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you a picture of mine here in a few minutes. Um, this is, actually, let's go to my brave list first. This is my brave list. I've got it started. It's around the corner right here. It's just a bulletin board. And I am going to, I'm going to receive blessings. That's, those are my words for the year. Uh, I'm going to go in a hot air balloon. That's on my brave list for this year. I've wanted to do it for years. It's on my bucket list, but guess what? Um, the bucket list is like way out there. Let's be brave this year. Anybody else want to be brave in 2015? Um, I'm going to write a book about dating, and I, I think it's going to be a love story. Um, I want to go to New York City in the fall. I want to see the leaves. I want to sing on a stage. I want to sing on a stage. I used to sing. I've sung on a stage way back in high school. Guess what? It's time to sing again. Um, I want to blog 52 times. I want to renew my passport and use it. So you start your Be Brave Today list. You start it, okay? Does everybody get it? And let me go back here. This is my um, vision board. I've got it right here, but I don't want to rip it off the wall. So I, I put a picture here on the page for you. I made this at Kathy Alessandro's event. And so what I want you to see on here is just words. I want to, these are the things that are going to happen this year. We're going to have the Blaze of Trail Conference. So I'm hosting the Be Brave, Be Brave Today experience. Put what you see in your head on pieces of paper. Put it on paper. Uh, put it in action. See it around the room, okay? That's going to help you to step into your brave. So what is brave? What is brave? I've got to, I, I turn everything into an acronym. So let's dive into this. Um, first of all, it includes...
Okay. Can you hear me and see me? <laughs> All right, ladies. All right, side note, side note. When you do, and you all know this, I've said it over and over and over and over again. When you do things with technology, guess what? The internet goes down. You get kicked off your own webinar. It's totally fine. Just log back in. Don't have a breakdown. Don't run out the front door and scream in the parking lot. I don't have a parking lot, but I have a street. Just hang tight. People are fine. Are you guys all okay to survive? I mean, I, let's just get honest here. Did you run off? Did you have a? Did you worry about me? Am I okay? Um, anyway, side note: go with the flow. Don't beat yourself up. It happens. It happens constantly. And if you if you if you let little baby things like that throw you over the edge, well, you you know, be brave today, sister. Be brave today. <laughs> okay. So I wanted to show you on the screen and in person. I I create these little doodads. I don't know what the right name is, but I have my little surrender one. I've had that all last year. And anything that gets me bound up, freaked out, psycho, crazy as a loon, I just write it on a little piece of paper and drop it into the surrender spot. But here I've added a new one. So I've got my surrender spot on one side. This is right above my kitchen sink. And then I have my one for brave acts. Now, why do you think I did that? Why do you think I did that? Well, I'm going to choose to do these brave things. If I'm singing on a stage, well, heck, I want to have a little memento of it. If I, I made a couple decisions this week recently. I signed a contract for some, uh, to work with somebody for a year. I, I, you know, anything that you do that's brave, it could be financial, it could be a phone call, it could be, uh, I don't know, a, a post-it note in here. Doesn't You decide. But that, for me, I, I need to see that daily. And I need to be able to see that I can put things in there and, and, and watch it grow throughout the year. Okay? Makes sense? All right. B is for bold. B, the B, this is the B in brave. Okay, you with me? Taking notes? Who's taking notes? Let's have a little moment. Let's have a moment. I'm, um, everybody in my family is a teacher except for me. I just tell them I teach differently. So if you're taking notes, say yes. Give a shout out. Drink water. Drink coffee. Cheers. B is for bold. I like bold coffee, and I like bold women. <laughs> okay, so uh, bold. You need to be bold. One of the things I've already told you is that I purchased a home this last year. Here's the front door. Here's my crazy kooky cat, Xander. Surprised he's not in here bug hanging with us. I was going to say bugging us. Um, but uh, that was a bold move for me. The first time I ever painted bold, I didn't know how to paint. I still don't know how to paint. You know what? I don't care. Uh, I love to paint because it's a right brain, creative, emotional experience for me. I don't want to know that I'm doing it wrong because you know what? Who cares? I don't want to. I don't want to. I have a lot of rules. I have a lot of things in my life that are left brain. We're having a side teaching moment here. There's your left brain and your right brain. Your right brain is creative. It's emotional. It is a painting, singing, feeling kind of thing. And over here on uh, is the, the tasks, the to-dos, the rules, the regs. Okay, so um, I have enough rules and regs. I have a lot of stuff I need to do as the founder and president of this association, things for my clients, things that have to happen. I don't want to add rules and regs to my painting, people. Um, you've got to have a you've got to have time for both of those things. All right. So be bold. And then R is for risky. R is for risky. If you are going to step into your brave this year, you're going to have to take some risks. You ready to do that? Are you? Have you leap? Have you leapt? Excuse me, leapt into the risks? Uh, because guess what? Risks are scary. Uh, and being an entrepreneur has inherent risks in it. Inherent risks in it as an entrepreneur. You have to be willing to step into those things. You got to put your your superwoman shirt on. And, and this is me. I, I went running up and I bought one of these things. You got to get your superwoman shirt on, and you got to stand in it. And you know what? People are going to look at you. People are going to look at you. And, and you know what? If you aren't willing to be looked at, then you've got to deal with that. You've got to deal with your own self. Being uh, an entrepreneur, all of your issues, every issue you have is going to be rising up. All of your fears, all of your insecurities, all of your things that you think are not okay about yourself. All of your money issues, it's all going to rise up. All going to rise up. So find your superhuman, super superhero, super shiro, 
and get a shirt if you have to. Whatever you do, I surround myself with people that help me to step into that. I surround myself with women that are brave as well. A is for adventurous. Um, you need to be willing to have adventures. If you're going to be brave this year, uh, you need to be willing to have many, many adventures. You need to be willing to do things you've never, ever done before. And, and guess what? When you've never done something, you don't know how to do it. If you've never done a webinar, you don't know how to do that. If you've never run a marathon, you don't know how to do it. If you've never uh, written a book, you don't know how to do that. Um, those are called adventures. And if you stay in your little comfort zone, you're not going to be very brave. So what I want to, I'm going to pause right now. This is me in, uh, before one of my half marathons this last summer, which was super hot. Elizabeth B. Arman was there with me. I don't know if she's in the house, but God bless her because she's helped me survive this thing. It was 90 degrees at the start, and uh, we can, you know, I just decided I'm just going to walk this entire thing because if not, you could die from a heat stroke out here. So what brave things are you committing to for this year? Go ahead and type it in the box, please, because if you type it in the box, you're going to own part of it. You're going to own it. You're going to claim it. So um, now's the time, ladies. What bra one brave thing you're going to do this year? One, at least one brave thing that you will do this year. Okay. Uh, present a webinar. Sales directorship in Mary Kay. My first mom conference. Excellent. Keep them coming. Type them in the box right now. I want to hear them. You need, you need to write them. I don't need to see it. You need to see it. Lose 50 pounds. Do it, Karen. Hi, Karen. It's good to see you here, too. Yes, yeah, celebration party. Martha, Marcia's having this huge celebration party. Write it down. Make it happen. Okay? Write the vision. Make it happen. Write the vision. Make it happen. Sprint triathlon. Cool. Uh, speaking of the John Maxwell conference. Oh, my gosh. That's so awesome. Okay. Whoops. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting all excited. B is for visionary. Entrepreneurs, brave women, are visionaries. And, you know, I have a calendar here, giant calendar there, big uh, brain board over here. We have to see it. Write the vision, make it clear. I have to see what's happening throughout the year. If I don't know what's happening, how can I plan? How can I give, it, give the information to you? We've got to claim it. Um, here is, uh, here's proof. Four years ago, five years ago, I started writing a book. I, that little tiny baby book here in the front, Dear Female Entrepreneur. I didn't know that it was going to turn into something I would send out to every NACWE member. I had no idea. I was writing it for something else. Then um, it turned into something different. Then we had book number two is Inspired Women Succeed. Then I had in, the Inspired Business Toolkit. And then last year, Rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place, number one. Rock Bottom is a Beautiful Place, number two, is about to come out. So sneak preview, January 26th, 27th, and 28th. And if some of you are, if you're in the next Rock Bottom book or if you were in the first Rock Bottom book, type in the chat room right now. Because guess what? Um, Rock Bottom is a beautiful place. I have uh, over a year and a half of sobriety. Very excited about it. My life has changed. But guess what? Did you, do you think I know, knew that I was going to walk into those things? Do you think I said, oh, I'm going to write a book every year? I sure did not. Um, I, I was excited to have the little baby book. But create a vision. Walk into it. Do the next right thing. Okay? I want you to write that down. It's very simple. Do the next right thing. Do the next right thing. Some days that's going to be different than others, but just do it. Ease for entrepreneur. Guess what? Brave is better when we are together. We are all here together. Uh, there's women here that have never been here before. If this is your first time here, or if you haven't been here in a long, long time to one of these calls, we want to say hello to you. So again, type in the chat box. Brave is better when we're together. Do you, you know, I have my brave sisters so that I can be strong, so that I can ask for prayer, so that I can get support that I need. Because you know what? The, again, the haters come. Haters come. Jealousy people come. Um, judgment comes at you. And you're going to think, what am I doing? It's easier to stay locked in my bedroom. It's easier to stay locked in your home. But is that where God wants you? Let me, let me just be very clear. Very clear. Does God want you sitting at home or sitting in the church pew, church pew waiting for other church people to walk in? Uh, I would say no. I'm going to boldly say no. God wants you out. He doesn't want you sitting at church waiting. He doesn't want you sitting at home waiting. 
He wants you to be out. He needs you to be out. You are a walking miracle. And if you don't know your miracle story, well, figure it out and share it. Figure out why you're a walking miracle. Share your journey and, and stop hiding. Stop hiding your story. All right. I'm going to take you back and then train you again forward. So hang with me. We're going to look back on 2014, uh, the NACWI Brave Women Celebrations. And there's some of you in the room I'm going to show here on the screen. So let's take a look. NACWI Gatherings, we had 12 of these. Uh, and so yay for just stepping out doing webinars. Again, I didn't know how to do a webinar until I did one. And then I got used to it, and then I really like it. I like it. Yay! Um, hey, so we had a conference. We had a conference. You know what? When you have a conference, that's a brave act. That's a brave act to have a conference. It's a brave act to host an event. It's a brave act to have a seminar. I remember my very first seminar in Helotus, Texas. It was called Dreams and Goals for Grown-Ups. I was scared to death. I didn't think anybody was going to come. I knew my husband at the time had to come, and so he did. But 15 other people were there. Do you think that that um, gave me a glimpse? Yes, it gave me a glimpse of where God needed me to go. And so um, make a commitment, ladies. Make a commitment to step into scary places. Um, here are some of the brave women. Some of them are in the house. There's Sally. Here's Hannah. Here's Kathy. Here's Tina, me. There's Karen. There's Michelle and Heidi. So these are brave women that walked through my leadership program with me. Brave women that walked through my leadership program to become certified group facilitators to become certified group facilitators with me and to host their own NACWI groups. Um, again, a leadership. It's all about stepping into your leadership daily life. Being a leader is not a one-hit wonder. I said that before. Being brave is not a one-hit wonder. It is about daily choices. One day at a time is how I stay sober. One day at a time is how I manage any fear or anxiety. One day at a time, I'm pretty sure, is how you have a relationship. One day at a time is how you lose weight. One day at a time is how you build a business. So I want you to catch on. You get the theme here? You get the theme? Uh, one day at a time is how you choose brave. One day at a time is how you step into your business to go where God wants you to go. To go where God wants you to go. Not where your husband wants you to go. Not where you think you need to go, because you know what? God has a different idea most of the time. Lots of times I have to say, okay, God, uh, my idea was super wrong. So wrong, so wrong, so wrong. Okay? Yay. Thanks, Karen. These are the women that are, were in the be, oh, excuse me, not to be brave. The Rock Bottom is a beautiful place, and a lot of our, them are in the room right now. Um, so if you are in the Rock Bottom, number one, uh, give a shout out right now. Yay. Um, so many of them are right here on the screen, and uh, we did it. We walked through that and shared our story. And was that scary? Yes. So, so scary. I put my video testimony about my alcoholism on YouTube. Who does that? I do. I do that because, you know what, God told me uh, within a couple months after I got sober that, it, that it, my job was to use my platform. What does that mean? Well, guess what? I have a lot of women that uh, watch everything I do. And I have a lot of influence. And I know that. And I don't take it lightly. I take it very seriously. And I knew that God was basically telling me that if I could help one woman, if I could help one woman by sharing the truth of what I was going through with an addiction, that my job was to do it, to be brave. Testimony of triumph. It's not a testimony of tragedy. It's a testimony of the, the healing power of God, the healing power of God. And so here is all of us um, gathered up. There's Paula. Hi. Um, there And Benita and Michelle and Jessica, Sylvia, and Melanie. Uh, that is uh, us at our book signing. We're having another book signing coming up January 27th. So if you're in the area, please, please, please come. We're going to have our next book out. And then here's Sally, Karen, and Heidi. Uh, they... They went through the six months with me and came to uh, the event in August. But what, I, what I, I guess I want you to see here and hear here is I want you to hear that um, everything, everything I've just shown you is women taking brave steps, brave choices, booking a plane ticket, brave, um, signing up for a program, brave, uh, deciding to be in a book, brave, okay? All of these things are brave. So 2015, let's, let's come back. We're coming back to the, today now. 
We're in the brand new year. Today's Epiphany, by the way. Uh, today's Epiphany. Very cool. Uh, so uh, if you have an Epiphany, let us know. If, you, if you're having any aha moments, if your gut is churning and moving, and if you feel nervous and excited at the same time, uh, go ahead and type in the chat room. If I'm calling you out, if, you, if I'm ringing your bell, I hope I am. I hope I'm making you uncomfortable. I hope I'm calling you out, and I hope I'm calling you to a new place. Because you know what? We don't get it by sitting still. We don't get it by doing nothing. Um, I take action. I make mistakes every day. Uh, some of those are very public. Some of those are very uh, overwhelming. Some of them make me want to run off and hide my head. Uh, but you know what? I can't hide my head. I'm right here. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's good. But um, I want you to make a commitment to choose brave this year. Choose brave. Choose brave. Again and again and again. Sometimes it's having that hard, hard, hard conversation with somebody you love. Uh, sometimes it's making a plan or a dream. Sometimes it's making a, a vision board. Sometimes it's, it's saying you're going to do something. I'm missing on a stage. I don't know where. I don't know where I'm missing on a stage. I figure God will figure that out for me. God will figure that out. Um, some of the things that are about to be born that I know that are coming. Rock Bottom Book 2 is coming. Living Your Calling. Um, it, I'm sharing my story in here about the fact that I had a client that killed himself on June 2nd, 1999. I had a client when I was a counselor to kill, that chose to kill himself and then his wife filed a lawsuit against me and then I had to walk through four years of a legal battle and I lost my counseling career. I lost the very thing that I paid thousands of dollars to invest in. I lost my uh, reputation. I uh, basically was without a career and for many, many, many years I felt like I had to work for free. I had to pay the price. I had to serve my time. I wasn't in jail, but I, I put myself in jail. I put myself in jail and eventually I've had to crack out of that jail and it's been very hard and I've had to work, I've had to go to counseling, I've had to work through addictions, I've had to read about it, write about it, have, pull my way out of there and guess what I'm out I'm out but I have to tell the story I have to tell the story because because of that rock bottom because of that experience lawsuit malpractice losing my counseling career and license um, I then eventually was led by God into living my calling and creating NACWI does that make sense um, did I sign up for that uh, no uh, certainly not. Did it did it wreck my uh, did it wreck my plans? Yes. Did it break my heart? Yes. Did it change my entire marriage? Yes. Did it change my finances? You better believe it. When you cannot work in the field that you've been working in, um, and you you apply to sixty jobs, uh, and you move across uh, the country, it changes your how you feel about yourself. So um, what, that's the story I'm sharing in the next Rock Bottom book. I hope you come join us and read the other stories because they're amazing. And the other brave thing we're doing this year, all of us, is the Blaze, Blaze the Trail conference in May 14 through 16. I hope you guys come. I'm going to be there. 30 other women are going to be there. I hope you come join us. I hope you come. So get ready because I'm going to dive into a lot more training right now. We've kind of done a little... A um, little backlog. I wanted you to really kind of get some get some of the back so you can see how to go forward. So who's who's with me? Let's do an amen. Let's do a shout out. Let's do a um, I'm with you, Diane. I need water. You got to stay hydrated, sisters. How do you step into brave? How do you step into brave? I, what what do you do to step into brave? I'm going to share with you how I do it. You might have a different way. Take what works. Throw the rest out. You get that? Take what works. Don't don't beat the baby out. You know, don't. If something I say doesn't work for you, who cares? Okay. I mean, let's let's get real clear here. Um, don't hate me. Don't be mean to me. If I if I don't if I'm not your girl, step aside. Okay. If you don't like how I say something, what I post on Facebook, unfriend me. Don't send me a hate mail that is unsigned. Uh, that's kind of like yuck. Yucko, yuckity, yuck, yuck. Um, but I want you to step into your brave. I want you to step into what works for you. If I'm not your girl, then ignore me, please. Sign off now. Turn it, you know, close down. 
Um, I'm not going to be the right one for everybody. And if I push your buttons, I'm so sorry, but this is what God has called me to do. This, I, I want to raise up women that do what God has called them to do. I want you to do what God has called you to do that only you can do that I cannot do. Okay? Um, I want you to rise up and do what, do what God has called you to do for the bigger good of all of those that you serve. You serve people I will never reach. You serve people that will never come in contact with me. So if you don't do what you, you've been asked to do, uh, then who does it? Who does it? Hi, Teresa. It's good to see you. I didn't know you were here. Okay, what about fear? Let's talk about fear, and then I'm going to get into more of the, these steps. What about fear? Because guess what? I have it too. Do you, get, uh, do you get afraid? I mean, I feel afraid every day. Does anybody else? I, I feel that feeling. Sometimes it's bigger. Sometimes it's littler. Sometimes it's like a pit in your stomach. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, I was feeling it when I was writing my Living Your Calling story. I'm feeling it now because I'm about to be in a relationship, a long-distance relationship. I know. Who does that? I don't know. I guess I'm about to do it. The, you know, you feel these fears. They come up and you go, it makes you want to run. Fight or flight, fight or flight. It makes you, you want to want, want to run. But you're going to have fear. And guess what? God is not about fear. Do not be afraid. How many times does he say it? How many times? Uh, you guys all know how, much, how many times it's said in the Bible. Um, many, many, many times. I think it's 365 or is that just a, a, an urban myth? Uh, what about the fear? So when the fear comes, you can choose to do something or not do something. You can either do something or not, right? It, but you have to recognize, I feel afraid right now. Huh, what am I afraid of? Am I afraid of the conversation? Am I afraid of rejection? Am I afraid of, let me just tell you here. Here's the seven fears. Ready? I don't have this on a PowerPoint, but this just came to me to share with you. The seven really... Um, the seven fears that will trap you and keep you stuck. So can, can somebody type this for me? What, fear number one is fear of the un unknown. Fear of the unknown. Okay, we all have fear of the unknown. If you don't know how to do something, if you've never been to a place, you get scared. Fear of the unknown. Okay. Uh, number two, fear of conflict. Fear of conflict. We are all afraid of conflict. Some of us are better at it than others. Most of us run away from it like the plague. Number three, fear of intimacy, fear of intimacy, fear of being vulnerable, having somebody really know what's in there, fear of, fear of being, you know, just that intimate experience. So fear of the unknown, fear of conflict, if somebody can type those for me. Number three, fear of intimacy, fear of intimacy. Number four, fear of change, fear of change. <clears throat> we don't like change. We, we want to. We wish we, get, we wish we did. We wish we could. Uh, every, and when we have a change, we get scared. We get scared. Fear of change is number four. Number five, one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know. Somehow I only have six. There should be seven, but here you go. Well, I'll give you six. Fear of change, number five, fear of being a burden. Fear of being a burden. Fear of being a burden. Now, I, I know that I, I've seen this in myself. I'm fe sometimes I'm afraid to ask for help. Sometimes I'm afraid because I, I live alone and I, I need help with certain things. I've, I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to be a pain. I don't want to be a bother. And that's a big fear we deal with. And then last, so out of the seven but six, <laughs> I know. I was from a book. Obviously, I didn't get it all written down. Number uh, six, fear of abandonment. So if you, if you deal with fear, it's probably in one of these. It's probably in one of these categories. And you know what? If you can see it on a piece of paper, you can figure out, well, where does that fit? And is, am I being realistic? Is this a realistic fear right now? Okay? Is that helpful? Is that helpful, ladies? Fear. What about the fear? If you can name it, own it, talk about it, talk to the fear. I mean, that's why I, that's what I do. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a brave act. Hello. Ding. Or I, I talk to something and I surrender it into the surrender bucket. Okay. Uh, fear of rejection. Yeah, that could be. Maybe that's the other one. It might be the same as abandonment. I need to go back and find the book. Okay. Dealing with haters. Okay. I want to address this because I've mentioned it a couple times. Um, we've got to decide, you know, you're going to have haters in various degrees. 
Those are going to be people that come at you on your Facebook. Those are going to be people. That, so those people could be people you know and love in your in your family. Okay. So um, haters uh, have varying degrees, and you know there's songs about haters. There's things about haters. Basically, I would say is jealousy, judgment, and justification. Okay. Um, nobody wants to uh, think they're a hater, but you know what? We we've probably been haters too. Let's let's be let's admit that. Uh, we might do it secretly. We might do it under our breath, but we, you know, we're not. We're we are human, and we we make mistakes. Guess what? We sin. I don't know about you, but I'm still a sinner and uh, saved by grace. Hallelujah. Uh, but what do you do with that? What do you do when somebody uh, doesn't like what you've said, posted? So you have to decide. And it's it's this is a this is a hot topic. So if you're listening and and I push your button right here. Um, Again, you know, you might hate me after this webinar. <laughs> okay, um, you have to decide. And you know, there's a lot of us that overreact. We overreact. We overrespond. We overcompensate. We we have, feel like we have to defend, hunt down, and and chase and like grab onto somebody by the neck, right? Well, that's one option. Or there's the option. You know, if if somebody throws a ball at you and you don't throw the ball back, guess what? It stops the fight. Right? Uh, you can delete that person from your page. You can have try to have a private conversation with that person because having a public fight on social media, I mean, I just don't think it's very pretty. I just don't think it's very pretty. Uh, you know, there's things that should be said one on one. There's things that do not need to be said in a public environment. Do you agree? Uh, uh, so we've got to really be cautious. Be cautious, my friends about how you respond on your social media because are you riling everybody up or are you are you bringing peace are you creating more chaos or are you bringing contentment and, and clarity and um, peace I know I want to connect with people I don't want to create chaos I don't want to instigate I don't want to cause someone to stumble and I certainly don't want to have a public fight about something that's a private matter amen so uh, just really you will have to pray over how you deal with somebody that comes at you, whether you reply or not, whether you post about it or not. And you, I know I have safer, sacred safe people that I go to when I have something like this. Okay? Sacred safe people. Please find your safer, sacred safe people that you take your issues to. Uh, many, many things do not need to be shared with everybody you know. Okay, amen. Um, overthinking. All right, so this is one of the things you deal with. There's going to be the fear. There's going to be the haters. There's going to be overthinking. Uh, when you step into your brain, you're going to overthink. Now, how do I deal with this? Well, I'm an overthinker, so you might not know that. But, I mean, I take a lot of action. But I, I think, so there's certain things I know that I start looping, 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 looping. That's called ruminating in the counseling world. It's called ruminating. <clears throat> it's... Um, it's, it's not healthy. So when you find yourself looping, 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 that's again, it's where I go and surrender the thing. It's where I go and I pray. And it's where I go and I say, Lord, please help me with this person. Please help me to deal with this fear I have. Because um, there's only, you know, I can't, sometimes I cannot do a thing about it. I cannot do a thing about it. All I need to do is walk away from it. Sometimes the best thing I can do about it is nothing. Do, do you get that? Often the best thing, because I, I tend to over-respond. I'm like an action taker to the max. So often what I have to do is pause when agitated, pause when confused, pause when freaked out, pause when in, in fear, and not do a darn thing. And you know what? God takes care of it. God knows. God is always at work, and he's always taking care of things. And we also want to make sure <clears throat> that uh, we business and life boundaries. You have to be in charge of your boundaries, your business boundaries. When do you work? When do you not work? When do you, when do you have family time? When do you not have family time? Uh, when do you respond to emails? And when do, I mean, with Facebook, people can see whether you've looked at their little message. And honestly, that really starts to be a bother. Because when somebody sends you a message at 10 at night and you happen to be reading it from the bathtub, and you do not respond, it does not mean you will not respond. It means that it is not the time to respond. So set your boundaries, own them, honor them. Um, you know what? It's your business. It's not theirs. I own my business. 
God, God gave me a business. This is my business. And if I don't honor what God gave me, and if I just like let it slip out and slip, 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 and let you tell me what to do, and you tell me what to do, and you tell me what to do, um, you know what? There would be no business. There would be no business. There would be no Naqui. There would be no Be Brave. There would be no Diane Cunningham because I would just be, be a big blob. I would just be a big old blob. So figure out your boundaries. Set them. All right. Let's get serious here because I know I'm running out of time and I'm a talker, talker, talker. <clears throat> yes, uh, the boundary book is amazing. My ex-mother-in-law sent it to me two times in the mail, even though I already, I already had it. Um, uh, definitely a book you want to have um, and have in your library. They, they have series boundaries in marriage, boundaries in parenting, boundaries in dating, many, many boundaries books. So get a copy of all, get the ones that fit you. <clears throat> all right, key ingredient. These are all... Um, this stands for brave too. So you ready? This is some of the ways that I do this. Key ingredient number one, build. Learn how to build your brand. This is business talk. Okay, you ready? Ready for some business talk about brave? Um, again, and I'm going to share this with you in, the, in a minute, but I'm going to give you guys all a chance to get a copy of my Be Brave Today journal. Hello, 31 days being brave. And also the Be Brave boot camp. Um, which is another workbook uh, manual, so hang tight with me. I'm like about to tell you how, where to find those. All right, build. Learn how to build your brand through strategic marketing. This is brave. Um, you want to be strategic. Begin to expand your connections through facilitated networking. You're doing that right now. Embrace the foundation of your business by looking at your why. <clears throat> you can't build if you don't know your why. You can't be brave if you don't know why you're doing it um, because it will have no oomph. It will have no power. It will be wishy-washy. If you're not brave, you're not going to do something crazy. If you're not brave and know your why, well, the first time I signed up for a marathon, my why was to raise money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society because my mother's brother, her twin brother, died from that. That was a big why for me. That was a big why. So you've got to own your why. Key ingredient number two is your relationships. Um, I don't know about you, but this is how I've built everything in my whole world. Uh, I'm all about the relationship. I'm all about the connection. Uh, uh, learn to create lifelong connections, my friends. That's more important than a one-time sale. Discover your circle of influence. Discover your people. Uh, find your people. Love them. Nurture them. Embrace your own capacity for leadership and how it might affect your bottom line. Well, what do I want to say about that? If you're not owning your own place, owning your leadership in your circle, guess what? Uh, your bottom line will be, will be affected. Your bottom line will not increase, meaning money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say the word. If you don't know, if you don't know your value, <clears throat> guess what? You're not going to make any money. You're, 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 um, you're going to have an expensive hobby. And some of you in the room have a very expensive hobby. And I'm going to say, if you have an expensive hobby, you need to decide if you're going to quit this year or not. You need to decide because that's a brave act that you might have to take. Either that or else you're going to have to get brave enough to raise your price. You're going to have to get brave enough to host a program. You're going to have to get brave enough to promote your program. Guess what? If nobody knows about your program, if you haven't shared it with anybody, no one can sign up. And guess what? Then you're going to be blaming us, blaming yourself, blaming the world, blaming your husband, blah, 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 blah. And um, it's kind of yucky. I don't like it. I want you to take action. I want you to take action. And I want you to own your bottom line. Guess what? My coach makes me, and I do this, I, had, I write down every dollar that ever comes in, every dollar that came in last year. And my, my income increased in ways I could not even imagine. Um, and I do that every new, I, I make all my clients write down the money you've brought in because if you don't know, how do you know? If you don't know how much money you're making, do you have a business? Uh, probably not. So uh, last but not least right here, consider your mentors and who you might mentor. Guess what? I have mentors. I have coaches. I have copywriters. I have uh, graphic designers. I have blog writers. Did I sign all those people up on day one? Uh, no. Um, over the years, I've grown. Because I need to do what I'm doing best, I have to hire other people to do what they do best. Amen? Stop doing everything yourself. Please, get over it. Stop it, because you're never going to get bigger. If you are doing everything yourself, you will never grow. You will never increase. 
you will be scared when you hire those people. I'm, I just was scared to, like twice uh, by hiring a couple people this last week. Scared, super scared. Uh, but I also trust God. I trust God. I trust God and I see the evidence and I'm going to continue to trust God. Okay? If you trust God with your finances and your business, why don't you go ahead and give a shout out? Why don't you go ahead and say, Amen. I trust God. I trust that God is going to help me to do what I've been called to do. All right? Key number three, uh, ingredient number three is action. You've got to get honest. If you're going to be brave, if you're going to be brave in 2015, you've got to take some action. You can't talk, talk, talk. You can't talk and talk. I mean, I just see so many talkers. I'm a talker too, but let's take some action, sisters. <clears throat> Decide on your level of accountability and who will be your accountability partner. Investigate coaching and mastermind groups. If, if I didn't have a coach, I wouldn't be able to do any of the things I do. I, I have to have a coach. I know that, and I invest highly in my coaching, and I ask you to invest highly in your coaching. If you don't have a coach, who is helping you? Be real about your willingness to take responsibility. It's your business. God gave it to you. Take responsibility. Um, that's what you teach your children. That's what you teach your children, right? Key ingredient number four is your vision. Your vision. Capture the vision and make it known. Capture the vision and make it known. If, if you don't have a vision board, start one. Commit to a master plan for the day, week, month, and year. I've got all of mine uh, started here. Is it going to change? You bet. Is it going to change? Of course. It always changes because God's in charge. Clarify the core values and how they affect your business. Recognize your purpose and choose to live in it. Okay? And if you notice, all of these stand for BRAVE too. B-R-A-V-E. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm funny like that. Okay, and last but not least is expectations. Embrace the entrepreneur mindset. What does that mean? For me, it's embracing the risk, embracing the brave, embracing that we're, we're different. I don't know about you, but I'm different. Uh, own it, walk in it, rock it. You know, rock the house. Be different. Be goofy. Be crazy. Be loony. I have learned that I can actually get paid to, ha to paint. Who knew? I, I, I have learned that sharing my alcohol story is not weird. It's actually right. So embrace all of those. It's a change in mindset. It's a change in how you do that. You can bring the things that are you out to the world. Uh, expectations. Decide on your commitments to yourself and others. Do not let other people tell you what those are. Expectations can be a good word and a bad word. Expectation, unmet expectations lead to resentment. They lead to miscommunication. Uh, we have to tell people. People do not read our minds. They do not read our minds. Allow your creative spirit to flow with innovative ideas and be willing to fail and trust the process. This is really uh, the giant key to entrepreneurship right here. Be willing to fail and trust the process, all right? Okay, so let's get finished up because I can see the time is a moving and I'm running out of talk, meaning I need to take a drink of water. Uh, these days are wild for me. I get to coach a couple of you this afternoon. Hopefully, I'll have my voice back. So, again, I told you about um, this is available now as of this morning. Yay. Um, and just a side note, this is something I actually wrote five years ago. And I looked back at it and was like, this is good. This is really good. And so I revised it, um, got it redone, fixed it up, got a new cover. Now Christine Dupree is in the house, and she's my graphic designer. If you need a graphic designer, guess what? She does great work. She does all of my postcards. I don't have it here in front of me, but she does postcards. She does these ebook covers, um, and she does all these cool things. So, yeah, thank you, Marsha. Um, I've got this available for $47. It is ready right now. Go to that page, and it's a printable, downloadable workbook that you can use again and again and again. Uh, yeah, re totally repurposed. And then, guess what? I've added both. So put both together if you want the journal and the, the boot camp, uh, which has just, gosh, I think, I don't, it's 38 pages, templates, tools, you can get both over there for $147, okay? So we've got those added for you because I know January is a big deal and it's time to crank it up, time to crank it up. So uh, I would say get your copy now. Be ready to watch the brave miracles start to flow. If you don't take action, if you don't do anything different, nothing's going to change, my friends. Nothing's going to change. The bottom line is I'm just a girl that decided to go for it. I'm just a girl that decided to go for it. 
I decided to create an acqui. We're still here five years later. I decided to write a book. Uh, guess what? I have four books now. I decided I wanted to run a, a marathon. I've run four marathons and too many half marathons to count. I just decided to do it. Make a decision. What are you going to do? What are you going to do that's brave this year? What brave action will you take today? Be Brave Today is the name of my new program. Be Brave Today. Why do you think that today is on there? Today, because it's a one, like I said, it's a one day at a time, one life at a time, one hour at a time choice, my friends, my sisters. I can't do it by myself, and neither can you. If you've had any ahas from today, uh, I would love for you to show them here. They're going to go on YouTube here in a little bit because I'm I post these on YouTube uh, as soon as we get done. Thanks, Sabina. Um, spread the love. Post on my page. Send me an email. I mean, if you have an experience with somebody. Um, I, don't you think you should share the love with them? You know, I mean, that just kind of makes sense to me. Um, thank you, Melissa. So who do you want to follow up with from the Snack Week Cafe today? I've told you it's all about relationships. It's how I built my entire business. It was how I did counseling. It's how you have a uh, friendship. It's how you um, go out into the world. It's how we do what God has asked us to do. It's how we do what God has asked us to do. So uh, who do you want to follow up with from today's, do you want to follow up with me? Do you want to follow up with Sabina? Do you want to follow up with Kim, with Shelly? Who do you want to follow up with? If you're an ACWI member, um, follow up with each other. If you're not an ACWI member, I would say now, today's the day. Today is the day. Today is the day. In fact, I didn't know I was going to do this, but here we go. If you are not an ACWI member and you decide to join today, by the end of today only, by the end of today only, you're going to get the, not the boot camp, but you're going to get the journal, $47 for free, just as my gift. I didn't know I was going to do this. Sometimes I get a wild tangent. Um, if you're not a NAC member and you sign up by 12 midnight, Central Standard Time, you're going to get that. Okay? All right. That's what happens when you get in the move. Okay. So biggest mistakes I see, biggest mistakes I see, perfectionism, comparison, fear, and no action. You're not going to be that woman because you're here. You're here right now. You're taking action. Remember, get out of your own way. Ask for help. Get support and be you. Join us as a member of NACWI. Lots of you in the room are not members or your former members, and it's time. I'm talking right to you. You know who you are. Oh, I'm going to get right in your eyes. I know who you are. You know who you are. If you're not a member, if you've been a member and you, you left us, it's time to come back. It's time to come back. We're here. We have never gone anywhere, and we're ready to welcome you back, okay? Um, and like I said, you're going to get the Be Brave Journal as a gift, $47 gift from me. Um, so $197 for the entire year. We have training every single week. We have uh, over 100 webinars in our toolkit. We have our conference. So if you join for $497, you're going to get that, the conference and your membership. Um, and there's two-part payment plans for that. So, yes, it is totally worth the cost. You get your money's worth in one month. And I know that in every single way, every single way. And invite a friend to join you. Invite a friend because, you know what, again, I say we are better together. We are better together. And, you know, there's a lot of you that are in the Dallas area, but there's many of you that don't live here at all. We've never met in person. We are heart to heart. We are heart to heart. We are heart to heart. Uh, 2015 Be Brave Today experience. If you want to join me uh, and Marsha and Karen, I've got 10 more spots open. Uh, this is not for the faint of heart. This is not for the faint of heart. It's one year of Brave and it's coaching, mastermind, it's VIP days here in, in my home. And if you are interested in this, you email me now. You email me today. We will set up a time to talk about it again. This is a big deal. Um, it's, it's not for uh, wimpy girls. It's for um, girls that want to put on their big brave panties and step into <laughs> step into their brave. <laughs> okay, I can't even control myself. Okay, you get VIP days and you get masterminds and you get coaching. We actually start up our phone calls, our monthly calls on the eighth uh, this Thursday. So here, remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect. I can't stop laughing at myself. Woo! Not for the faint of heart. I know. Remind yourself that it's okay not to be perfect and know that I believe in you. I, I, if you don't know that, 
Well, I, I hope you do. I hope you know that I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. And I believe in myself. And I believe that God has given us a gift. We have to use it. So let me close this in prayer, okay? I know I'm over time. My mission in life is to inspire women to dream big, catch on fire, and change the world. I can't wait to help you. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father God, thank you so much for these calls. You know what? I love them. I love them because it fires me up. I love it because I get to connect with my people, the women I love. I love it because we get to feed off of each other's energy and then go back out. Lord, help us to go out. Help us to go where you want us to go. Help us to be brave. Lord, we are scared. We get scared sometimes. We get to overthinking. We get to overanalyzing. We freak out. We want to run and hide in the corner. We want to say, God, send somebody else. But, Lord, you're saying that you want us to go. So, Lord, give us the courage to say, send me. Lord, I pray over each woman here that she multiplies her business. I pray that she will stop hiding. I pray that she will step out and, and take these crazy actions. I pray that she will be brave today. Not tomorrow, because tomorrow's not here yet. Be brave today. We, all we have is the 24 hours in front of us. We need to be brave today. What will she do today, Lord? Help her to do it. Help her to take the phone call. Help her to send the email. Help her to, to do the next right thing. If that's coaching, great. If that's, um, if that's a program, great. If that's a membership in that week, great. Lord, you know what she needs. I don't. Lord, I pray over every woman here that you will bless her. You will surprise her in the next 24 hours when she, t when she does these brave things, that you will show her the way. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yay! Okay, brave girl panties. <laughs> I love you guys. I'm going to close this up. I'm going to upload it and get it to YouTube. And uh, I'll meet you over on Facebook, okay? I'll see you later. Bye! Come join us at NACWI. Get your free Be Brave journal. <laughs>